as you know, as a matter of policy, we don't uh, comment on individual entity or actions that uh, we initiate in such uh, cases. But that anyway, since this question is on the uppermost of uh, mind of uh, most of you, uh, I think I would like to say two, three things, essentially to set the context. Uh, what, uh, you know, uh, while we don't want to be discussing the individual details here because that will not be proper, in terms of context, as you all know, that this is a supervisory action on a regulated entity for a persistent non-compliance. Second, such supervisory actions are invariably preceded by months and at times years of uh, bilateral engagement where we don't, not even pointing out, uh, not only pointing out uh, the deficiencies, but also provide more than adequate time for them to take corrective action. Third, of course, uh, is in terms of, as a regulator, it's incumbent upon us to protect the interest of the ultimate consumer and thereby protect, protecting the stability of the financial system. So these actions have to be seen in that particular context. Coming to the second part of your question, what lies ahead? You know, as part of MPC, we don't give a forecast in these matters. So I think you will have to wait. And of course, we are, uh, we have been, what feedback we have been getting, we'll work on. And as a responsible regulator, suitable steps will be taken to ensure that uh, the customer inconvenience, if any, is minimized. So we will take care. I think with that, uh, we can uh, give a rest to this question and then move on to MPC is my request. <laughs>